and hello my union the game union here welcome back to another video bucket plugin tutorial and um this one's gonna be a little bit different i've switched ides um i've switched from eclipse to intellij um so i'm gonna uh give a tutorial quickly on how to set things up with intellij in intellij all right so we have all these uh things here so these are our previous eclipse projects all i did was uh i um, went over to here and I went to import project um, note that IntelliJ projects are the equivalent to Eclipse's workspaces and modules are the equivalent to Eclipse's projects all right so we have that um, and really since I'm using IntelliJ I'm not going back to Eclipse I'm just gonna say that now so I'm gonna delete all of the Eclipse things that don't have to do with IntelliJ delete and we'll delete and last but not least we'll delete okay so now that we've done that um how to import uh or not necessarily well, how to uh uh compile with the bucket dot jar or whatever um so what you do is you go down to libraries i'm going to click plus all right and sometimes it doesn't work properly like that um just keep clicking it until you can get the little mouse thing click on java and then uh get yourself to wherever your thing is located so uh, we'll go down here we go to bucket we go to uh bucket tutorials and we'll use bucket.jar all right, and we'll uh, use it for all of the modules. So we'll do uh, add modules, put it there. And actually we can just move to global libraries. We'll call this a uh, bucket. Okay. We can move the files over to our lib. Click okay. And really we don't need these external libraries, but um, now that we have this working and actually yeah we do need this I was just kidding but I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm kind of confused myself here um, but so now that we have that we are going to create a plugin so let's make a new plugin to do that we uh, just you know right click new mod oh crap right click new module next um, we'll call our new module something like um uh IntelliJ test. Now we have a new module called IntelliJ test. Um now we have an external library, so now uh we have this uh global library uh bucket thing. So uh, this will actually go to every single library. Um so we'll create a new package, enter a new package name, something like a uh, Com there we go IntelliJ test and then within here we'll create a new Java class IntelliJ test uh, let's create our uh, file plugin dot yml it doesn't matter actually where you put this you can put it within your package or you can just put it within the source folder um, because uh, it's actually kind of complicated how you do the next step when we uh, do the rest of this here. Extends Java plugin. Does that work? I guess it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, yeah. So add the uh, bucket library in. Now that we have that, um, we can do whatever you want here. So you know, at over override public void oh void uh on enable. We'll just have an on enable. Um, and within this on, on enable, we'll say uh, git logger dot info in J did everything correctly. Okay, so now that we have all that stuff done, um, we can tell that it finished when we saved because it has this IntelliJ test.iml. Now, 
uh, we'll finish our plugin.yml. We'll do uh, our name colon IntelliJ test um, main com dot unon one one zero zero dot IntelliJ test dot IntelliJ test and then version whatever you want 1.7.9.0 um and now that we have that it's it's not as simple as right clicking and adding the library we actually need to do quite a bit more so we go to file project structure all right we're going to make a new artifact so click plus jar empty all right this is going to be called IntelliJ test all right so now it has that now we need to configure the output layout so you go to IntelliJ test and you want to click on IntelliJ test compile output and make sure that moves over here. Once you do that, we also need not only the dot classes that it creates, but we also need uh, let's see, we need the plugin dot YML. So we click on the plus here. We click on file. Um, we go to IntelliJ test. Go into the source folder. And pick the plugin dot YML. Once you do this, click OK, um, and you should now be able to go to Build, Build Artifacts, IntelliJ Test, and then click Build. And there we go. It just built, and my bucket folder is right here, so we can go to here, um, Bucket Tutorials, Plugins. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, you need to choose the location of where it goes to as well. So, um, basically where that went to is a folder within, you know, I'll show you here. It went to a folder, um, go to bucket tutorials. It went into a folder called out and then artifacts and production. Um, basically what we wanna do is go up to here where it says output directory. Um, we actually want to change this to our server, so we don't want it in Dropbox, we want it <clears throat> into wherever your server is. So, mine is in Bucket Tutorials and Plugins, so we want it to export to there. Click OK, File, or no, sorry, Build, Build Artifacts, Build, and there we go. And if we now go into the folder, uh, and then we go to Bucket Tutorials, Plugins, there it is, IntelliJ test.jar, and just to make sure that it's functional, um, let's run this quickly here. And there we go. IntelliJ did everything correctly. And that's how you set up IntelliJ. It's really not all that hard. If you have a previous uh, existing uh, Eclipse type thing. Just go to uh, import project and pick the location of your project. So if, let's say I had one in like a bucket plugins here. You would just click on that. Click OK. Um, but yeah. That should be it. Uh, thank you all for watching this. Uh, and subscribe for more uh, bucket plugin tutorials. I will start to get more things more complicated than this. Um, obviously, I already have a few out, but they were made with Eclipse, and IntelliJ is much cooler, even though it's a bit more complicated. So, yeah. Again, thank you for watching. Goodbye, my union.